You're looking at a stellar nursery, young stars only a few million years old, captured in this stunning image by the James Webb Telescope. When the James Webb Space Telescope, JWS, trained its golden eye on a patch of sky previously thought to be void of significant detail, it shattered yet another boundary of human understanding. In a staggering revelation, the telescope detected light from what appears to be over 750 distinct galaxies, each lying beyond the previously accepted limits of the observable universe. These findings have stunned astrophysicists, stirred philosophical reflection, and marked a transformative moment in the exploration of the cosmos. The galaxies identified are not simply faint smudges at the edge of perception. They are vibrant markers of a realm once deemed inaccessible, calling into question the very notion of what it means for the universe to be observable. Before we start, smash the like and subscribe buttons for more updates. The term observable universe has long been a comfort zone for cosmology. It refers to the spherical region of the universe from which light has had time to reach Earth since the Big Bang. Given the finite speed of light and the age of the universe, roughly 13.8 billion years, with cosmic expansion factored in. This boundary forms a sphere with a radius of about 46.5 billion light years. It has been, until now, our window to everything we know, our cosmic island. But with the James Webb Telescope peering deeper and more clearly than any instrument before it, this definition is now being challenged not by theoretical conjecture, but by empirical discovery. The 750 galaxies that JWST observed lie beyond this traditional boundary not in a strict geometric sense, but in the temporal and physical nuance of how their light reaches us. Some of these galaxies emit light that has been stretched and warped by the expanding universe, redshifted to wavelengths that only JWST's advanced infrared instruments can decode. This light flickering from the dawn of time has taken billions upon billions of years to reach us. In the process, it has woven a narrative that goes back even before the epic of reionization, back when the first stars blinked awake and galaxies assembled from dark matter scaffolding. Each of these newly detected galaxies is a time capsule, a window into a period when the universe was less than a few hundred million years old. This is the frontier that JWST was designed to explore. Unlike previous telescopes, JWST operates primarily in the infrared spectrum, allowing it to penetrate cosmic dust and reach depths of space and time that Hubble could never touch. What makes this discovery extraordinary is not just the number of galaxies, but the detailed structural features they display. Spiral arms, dense cores, and even hints of galactic interactions suggest that the early universe was not a chaotic, formless void, but a realm of rapid and complex organization. The implications of this find reverberate far beyond the technical feat of imaging distant galaxies. It redefines our understanding of the timeline of cosmic evolution. Traditional models posited a more gradual formation of galactic structure. Yet here we are, witnessing well-formed galaxies at a cosmic age so young it defies current simulations. This pushes theorists to reconsider the nature of dark matter, the rate of star formation in the early universe, and even the possibility that some fundamental assumptions about cosmological expansion may need revision. If galaxies of such mass and complexity were already in place so soon after the Big Bang, the engines driving the early universe must have been more efficient, more aggressive, and perhaps more exotic than previously thought. These newly discovered galaxies also prompt questions about the fabric of space and time. In essence, observing galaxies that lie beyond the observable universe stretches the limits of our theoretical frameworks. If we can see these galaxies now, then the boundary we call observable is more fluid than fixed. The concept, once used to define the limit of what could be empirically verified, is now being rendered obsolete by technological advancement. It suggests that the universe is not a clean, delineated structure, but a continuum that only appears bounded due to the constraints of our instruments and perspective. Joe WST is now stretching that perspective with each observation. Moreover, the detection of these galaxies challenges the long-held cosmological principle that the universe is homogeneous and isotropic at large scales. If such densely clustered and mature galaxies are found in just one relatively small segment of the sky, it begs the question, how many more are scattered across the unseen expanse? 
Could there be vast regions of space that are structurally and evolutionarily distinct from our own cosmic neighborhood? Perhaps the early universe experienced localized periods of rapid evolution, driven by environmental factors or variations in the quantum foam that seeded space-time itself. The discovery also energizes the ongoing search for dark matter and dark energy. These enigmatic components make up about 95% of the universe's total mass energy content, yet remain poorly understood. Galaxies this ancient and developed must have been held together by something, Given the short time frames involved, there would not have been enough visible matter to create the gravitational cohesion necessary for such structures. This gives dark matter an even more central role in shaping the early universe. Additionally, if these galaxies are found to deviate from expected formation patterns, it might suggest variations in the density or distribution of dark energy at early times, a revelation that could redefine the ultimate fate of the cosmos. On a more abstract level, the detection of these galaxies brings us face to face with the possibility that our observable universe is just a fraction of a vastly more intricate and expansive reality. For centuries, humanity has expanded its horizons, geographical, intellectual, and cosmic. Each expansion was accompanied by a sense of vertigo and wonder from the realization that the Earth is not the center of the universe to the discovery that the Milky Way is just one galaxy among billions. Now. JWST extends that revelation one step further. It suggests that the cosmos may be deeper, older, and more populated than our models dare to imagine. There is also an aesthetic, almost spiritual resonance to the idea of seeing galaxies born in the cradle of time itself. These are not just points of data. They are entire universes in miniature, each containing billions of stars, possibly trillions of planets, and untold potential for complexity. To detect them is to tap into the universe's autobiography, reading chapters that until now were sealed behind the veil of distance and time. This expands not only the scientific realm, but the human experience. To know that such structures exist, formed in defiance of what we thought was possible, is to recognize that the universe has layers we have only just begun to peel back. The technology behind the James Webb Telescope is itself a marvel, a culmination of decades of planning, engineering, and international collaboration. It orbits the Sun at the second Lagrange point, a million miles from Earth, where its instruments are shielded from both solar and terrestrial interference. Its gold-plated mirrors and cryogenically cooled sensors give it unparalleled sensitivity to the faintest glimmers of ancient light. What JWST offers is not merely clearer pictures, it delivers a radical new vantage point. With each revelation, it is reprogramming how we interpret the universe's timeline, structure, and genesis. Among the 750 galaxies, some exhibit signs of rapid star formation, others appear quiescent, having already exhausted or locked up much of their gas. Such variations suggest that the universe's early periods were not uniform in development, but a mosaic of different galactic life cycles playing out simultaneously. This diversity adds layers of complexity to our models, indicating that there may have been multiple pathways to galactic maturity. Factors such as environment, local dark matter concentrations, and the influence of primordial magnetic fields may have played a more significant role than previously accounted for. These observations also ignite speculation about the potential for life. While it is improbable that life as we understand it could have formed so soon after the Big Bang, the sheer number of galaxies, and by extension planets, multiplies the odds that somewhere in some form complexity akin to biology could have emerged earlier than expected. Life requires ingredients like carbon, water, and stable energy sources. If stars and planets were forming robustly within these early galaxies, those ingredients may have been available much earlier than previously believed. This shifts the timeline for habitability and raises the tantalizing possibility that civilizations might have arisen, and perhaps vanished, long before our own sun began to shine. With every step forward, science becomes a story of humility. The more we learn, the more we realize how little we truly understand. The discovery of 750 galaxies beyond the conventional limits of observability is a stark reminder that nature does not conform to the boundaries we set for it. These galaxies existed whether or not we had the tools to perceive them. Now that we do, they beckon us onward, daring us to imagine what lies still beyond. 
They are not just data points, they are invitations to rethink, to question, to explore. As JWST continues its mission, more such discoveries are expected. With each new image, each spectroscopic signature, the veil lifts a little more. The future of cosmology is no longer just about looking further back, but about understanding what it means to look at all. Time, distance, and existence are fluid concepts when viewed through a lens polished by infrared light and human curiosity. In that light, the boundary of the observable universe becomes not a wall, but a suggestion, one that the James Webb Space Telescope has already begun to erase. If you like this video, please give it a like and subscribe to our channel. Also, leave your comments below and tell us, what are your thoughts on James Webb spotting 750 galaxies beyond the observable universe? We want to hear from you. Thank you for watching and see you next time.